America is an identity crisis. As we can see right now in our world today, that identity is the biggest thing that is going around the United States of America. I identify with my job. I identify with this class of people. I identify with that group of people. But the reality is, is that America is searching to belong to something. And the reality is that if you're watching this, you might be looking right now and you're looking to identify with something and you are lost. And when you lose your identity, you lose your purpose. When we see that Adam in the garden, the book of Genesis chapter three, the moment he sinned and the moment he committed treason against God, his identity changed. And from that moment on, over 4,000 years, man has tragically tried to seek who he belongs with. We can see that when the children of Israel were taken captive in Egypt, they began to think like the Egyptians. They began to process life like Egyptians. They were slaves. And many people have identified tragedies in life with seasons in life, and they can't move past that. In Luke chapter 8, the Bible talks about a woman with the issue of blood. It don't mention her name if you ever read it, but the Bible is clear that she had an issue. She had an infirmity, and she was a person that would live life based on her infirmity. There are people watching right now, and all you've ever identified with was your failure. All you ever identified with was a certain class of people. You move from one class to another, to another company. And the problem with this is that you will always be searching. You will always be longing. You will always be empty. To this day, we see people like that. The Bible says that Jesus came so that he can die on the cross for our sins so that we can be identified with Christ. There's no reason to search for your whole life, to be part of a class, part of a group part of an affiliation or association. But Paul says to be identified with Christ. You see, being born again means die to your old self, accepting Jesus Christ as your identity, which this was the plan from the beginning. When Adam lost that, he fell into sin and sin will cause you to lose your identity. And you begin to live out life according to what you've experienced. Judas was a man that followed Jesus for three years. But after his following Jesus Christ, he decided that I don't want to be identified with Christ. So what does he do? He takes matters into his own hands. He betrays Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He can't handle the shame. He can't handle the guilt. He can't handle all the things that he's going through. And so he goes and he takes matters into his own hands. And when you do that, it always leads to death. You see, the problem is that people search for their identity because they want inclusivity. They want to be part of something. They want to be have a purpose in life. But when we see this, that when you take matters into your own hands and you live out your life according, identify with different things, things change. Companies change. Friends change. Associations change. But Jesus Christ never changes. If you're watching this now, identify yourself with Jesus Christ. Repent from sin. If you're living in sin, you're naturally wondering. You're naturally empty. You're naturally filled with shame and regret. That's why you go to all the things you go to, to the alcohol, to the drugs, to everything that the world provides. And you always end up falling short. Jesus Christ is waiting for you now to be grafted in to the kingdom of God, to be dead to this body, to this world, to this sin, is to be identified with Jesus Christ.